Milton Harris March 21, 1906, to September 12, 1991, was a scientist who founded the Harris Research Laboratories and, for six years, chaired the board of directors of the American Chemical Society. Early life Harris was born in Los Angeles, California and raised in Portland, Oregon. His first independent business enterprise, at the age of 12 or 13, was building crystal radio sets. A high school science course piqued his interest in chemistry. In 1924, at the age of 16, Harris began his college education at Oregon State University, then known as Oregon Agricultural College OAC, where he was a member of Phi Sigma Kappa fraternity. Despite the lack of a chemistry department at that time, Harris pursued a degree in chemical engineering and took all available courses in chemistry. Graduate school and textile work At the age of 18, Harris graduated from OAC, and began graduate work at Yale University. Upon his graduation from Yale in 1929, Harris took his first job as a chemist at the Cheney Brothers Mill. Harris was called away from Cheney in 1931 to join a new textile research group at the National Bureau of Standards Harris was later appointed director of the research group, which would ultimately produce roughly 200 scientific papers on various aspects of textile chemistry. While he was at the NBS Harris, along with Vincent Duvigno, made important discoveries with regard to similarities between the three-dimensional molecular structures of wool, insulin, and human hair. <laughs> World War II era With the beginning of U.S. involvement in World War II, Harris's group began advising the Army quartermaster about textiles, as well as helping to solve a myriad of problems for the NBS. Harris aided the research and redesign of sandbag sacking, tent cloth, and the chemical additives in military underwear that were used to protect soldiers from the effects of a gas attack. At the end of World War II, while the Textile Foundation was relocated to Princeton, New Jersey, Harris elected to stay in Washington, D.C. With the help of some colleagues, Harris started the Harris Research Laboratories, which operated as a consulting laboratory for the Gillette Company and American Inca Company, among others. <laughs> Later career Harris's association with the Gillette Company grew with the development of his consulting business. In 1955, Gillette bought the Harris Research Laboratories and appointed Harris Vice President of Research. Just before his retirement from Gillette in 1966, Milton Harris was approached by the American Chemical Society Board of Directors and asked if he would accept a nomination to the board. He accepted and served as head for six years. In 1975 Harris headed an AX panel which produced a study instrumental to the National Academy of Sciences recommendation for widespread cultivation of the jojoba shrub. Harris died of cancer September 12, 1991. His papers were donated to Oregon State University Library's Special Collections in November 1995. Honors and awards 1966 Harold DeWitt Smith Memorial Medal 1970 Perkin Medal 1980 Priestley Medal 1982 American Institute of Chemists Gold Medal <laughs> 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 